Today, we are exposing this scammer. So hi guys. Good morning, guys. This is his WhatsApp chat on his PC with his scammer buddies. And this is the scammer's profile picture on WhatsApp, which perfectly matches the pictures that I downloaded from his computer. This guy goes off-roading in expensive vehicles, which I convince him to talk about later on. Once in a two month, I go with my friends and my brothers here out for a off-road drive. Whole of the engine goes inside the water. So we have snorkels. There are a few things which we modify wow. on our cars. Even if uh, the car is half inside the water, it can breathe. And he was extremely calm and professional while he tried to take my money. But he did not know I was collecting his GoPro videos and his victim's contact info. To go into detail about the scam, it starts as an email which tells the victim that they got a charge on their account. The victim calls the number to refute the charge, but this is where the scam differs from the other typical refund scams. In this case, they focus on the idea that a hacker made those charges using your account, and the main thing the scammer wants is a security code, which is expected to be delivered via gift cards either from an online or in-store purchase. While YouTube won't allow me to show you how I access the scammer's computer, I can show you the footage of me accessing his file system and downloading his personal info, which you can see here. The rest of the video features my character Neld going off on wild tangents about the Illuminati, Saudi-developed shrinking weapons, brain-to-computer interfaces, the metaverse, voice cloning, Ronald Reagan farting through a Ouija board, and alternate Game of Thrones endings. The episode caps off with a very calm scammer dealing with Neld redeeming gift cards back into her own Google Play account. Keep in mind that this episode is heavily edited and that the full call was around two and a half hours. As always, please sub to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm half Christian and I'm, I'm a half Hindu. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I've, I've never heard of someone doing both i didn't know you could uh my grandson plays uh, those my mother's uh, mmorpg and, uh, my and he he calls it dual wielding when he has two weapons at the same time but it seems like you're kind of dual wielding religion so that's wonderful that's the first i've heard of it also uh miss did you uh, try uh, getting a gift card uh, earlier with a digital code no, but the people, the, there's a nice man I, I met from uh, Norton, the, the antivirus. No, they, I, they I was were talking about me, uh, the uh, put, Amazon thing. Right, yeah, and because Norton called me, and they were helping me uh, secure my account, uh, and they had me generate some validation codes, and that and that's what they used. Yeah, that is yeah, they and were apparently correct, they, uh, were, uh, they were they were dummy transactions is what they said and that it's just like monopoly money on my account yep and that I wouldn't be charged but that would remove the hackers from my computer so perfect that's yep. what we did they were going well and they were going uh, through the right steps but I think uh, they were not able to make it finish so what we'll do now, we'll try to access the digital code again, and I'll help you out with that, okay? So like I told you, we are connected to the Amazon Secure Server, and we are just trying to secure the account. And basically, these cards are made for this reason only. So don't like the hackers don't know about it. So only the people from here knows about it and uh, we'll try to access a code from here and it won't cost you, okay? And even if it costs, it will come back to you right away within uh, two minutes. Okay. Yeah, initially it won't deduct anything. So just give me a quick moment again. I'll try to access. Do you see here on the screen, it says PlayStation Store gift card and in the bracket, it is mentioned digital code. Do you see the digital code? Uh... Yes, yes, I can see that. Highlighted. Yep. Okay, so I'll help you out with this again. Oh, are you just trying to buy that? Here, here. Let's see if we can do that. Um, buy now. Oh. What? Oh, a seller account. I don't want to sell anything. We'll do it with the the bank directly. Which which bank card do you have with you right now? Uh well, I have Bank of America. Bank of America, okay. Yes. 
Uh, and that's it. Do you have any other card as well? No, no. It, I just got a Bank of America account. My my son tells me that I need to. Um. Well, he he basically says I I shouldn't even have a bank. Uh, that that the bank in, bank institutions are corrupt, at their most basic level, and that I should uh -huh. ab that we need to abolish the Fed. And I say I don't even know what that means. What even is the Fed? Is what I want to know. I don't even know what the Fed is. But that's more of a personal problem on on my end. I think I, you know, I I'm re I really don't know much about how. You know, the Illuminati apparently is apparently controlling us all, and there's a bunch of uh, my son calls blood sucking sucking vampires in the government, and I say I don't know any about that because, well, number one, vampires are. Uh, they're fictional characters, unlike the the people in the Bible. And I say, I don't think there's such thing as vampires. And he says, well, what about uh, what about angels and demons? You believe in those? And I say, well, of course I do. And he says, well, what's the difference? And I say, you need to go back to church, is what I told I told him. Okay, could be possible, miss, because uh, he's he's uh, like correct in his own own way because the uh, like according to today's uh, situation, everyone is corrupt. Everyone wants to fill their own pockets, and that's all uh, how it's working nowadays. Even the banks. Yeah, I I kind of noticed that. I I you know. It... It seems like everyone is willing to just do the most deplorable things in order to make an extra buck. But, you know, yeah. uh, my son d does tell me that has something to do with the massive amount of overpopulation. I think he said that we've doubled our population in the past 20 years. I say, what? He says, yes, you, you should look. He, say, he says, do your own research, he told me. I said, that's not very nice. It's true, miss. Yes. Do you have it? Do you have a son? It? No, miss. I'm 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 still a bachelor. Oh, I see. You yes. must be very popular with the ladies. You have a very nice voice. <laughs> no, miss. That's uh, like that's not true. But yeah, currently I'm a bachelor and. Soon, if I have, like, I'm not seeing anyone right now. If it happens, I will be happy to be with someone. Yes. Do, do you go out to the clubs? My son goes out to those clubs and he likes, they do all these weird dances. I, I saw a video from his phone one time of what they were doing. I said, that no. does not look very Christian to me. No, miss, I don't, don't go to clubs uh, that much. Because, like I told you, I have uh, like two different uh, my parents from two different religion, and both the religion don't appreciate people going to club. So I see. Yes, that's so how I was raised. Is that is that a pretty con uh, conservative upbringing there? Because you've got you've got Hindu and you've got Christianity. I I would imagine with those yeah. combined, there's some pretty rigid beliefs. Yeah, miss, uh, like a little bit, but uh, not too much because, uh, like, if if I just talk about my mother's side, uh, my grandparents from India, they are a bit conservative about, uh, like, did like, totally, it, it's a complete different culture there. So my mother came to uh, Canada when she was young for studies, and then. She got a work here, then she met my father, then that's how it went. Oh, well, that's so a beautiful still, now, story. Now they are... yep. That's wonderful. So now I'm currently in California doing my job. That's it. Oh, well, well, whereabouts in California are you? I've got some family out there. Pardon me? I said... I. 
I was just asking but, uh, what, what yeah. part of California, but you know, if that's too that, personal, that I, I understand. Possible. Yeah, no, I, I, there's not any problem uh, to tell you the information, but like I told you, we are on a two way recorded call and it could be a problem. Oh, oh I my see. God, to give I a see. personal information. Yeah. Okay, I understand yeah. that. Wouldn't want any of your personal so information getting out there on one of these phone calls, that's for sure. Yeah. So even the backend department might might know the the address oh. if someone doesn't. So. I see. I've got you. Give me a quick moment, miss. Uh, I'm just check, checking out. Uh, I've sent a request to the backend department if they could like uh, temporarily release the account of yours and we could go through here oh. there's some problem from this end okay i see okay have you heard of this uh have you heard of this new uh laser weapon that the that the uh that the saudis are are building right now uh no, it's not completely, but yeah, I've heard this news. I right, it was and they're people, building. Some people say it's a rumor, or some people say it's fake. But yes, and I've I've heard that the Department of Defense in the United States is working with the Saudi government and also Parliament, and they're developing a laser that is actually does the same thing. It have you ever seen? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids before. Have you, have you seen that movie? No, miss. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is a movie where this scientist mm -hmm. ends up shrinking down his children uh, to a very okay. small size. And, mm -hmm. um, and so basically, this is what it does. And I say, well, what kind of practical application would that have? Why would... The Department of Defense and Parliament and the Saudi uh, Arabian government be building a, a laser in, in congruence to shrink folks down to a tiny little size. And my son told me it's not just people they're shrinking. They're shrinking all kinds of other, other things like buildings, okay. weapons, mm -hmm. e even full islands and mountains. They are able to... Uh, shrink everything so my son thinks that they're trying to uh they want to shrink all of their citizens all of our citizens down to tiny little size mm -hmm. and smush us mm -hmm. to in, in order to institute population control and i said that is about the most far-fetched thing i have ever heard of in my whole life what do you think of that yeah miss miss uh like like the technology is improving and evolving day by day it could be possible in future but currently i don't think anything like this have ever built which could uh, shrink people or anything yes that would be very that would be very odd yeah but i think uh, it could uh, there there is a possibility that a uh, scientist scientist might be working on it could be possible okay well you know, it, and my son tells me that we wouldn't even know if something was out, even out there like that, is what he told me. He said... Yes, yes. That is true. Yeah. That is true. That is completely... Even even uh, the NASA and uh, many other institutions or any uh, science companies, they what, what they do, what uh, they... First of all, they invent something, and until and unless it is not approved by the government or until and unless they're not ready to uh, present it in a good way to the people to the uh, population to the world till then they don't reveal it so that's how it works miss could be possible they might be building or they they might have built it already yes yes that is that is correct and it's it's honestly it's just a bit it's a bit scary thinking because also they have this, my son told me they've got this interface that they can actually control your mind. It's, an, it's a mind inter, it's basically, it's a computer that plugs into your mind. And I said, well, okay. I don't know about any of that. And he says, yep, they're able to control your visual cortex with a computer, mm -hmm. is what they told me.
and uh, and and so I said, "What the heck is a visual cortex?" They're still working on it, but yeah, they are building something like that. People, the scientists are building. And they like said, this. even even uh, the metaverse. There's a thing called metaverse, which gives you a digital, like a uh, completely different uh, uh, universe. Okay, so that will be uh, what we say. I don't know the exact word or term for it, but it it is uh, the name is metaverse, where we can like where you don't have to physically buy anything and it has already been started oh would you like to read for it oh yes let me show you that is very let me show interesting you on the screen. yes please the metaverse. metaverse wow i've never heard of that before oh is this that mark zilker zilkerberg guy that does yeah, this yeah yeah exactly yeah. Oh, I heard it some be, things uh, about him. It will be a visual reality, virtual reality thing. I it will, see. It will be a virtual uh, universe where you can, like, even even they're working on it, where you can even feel anything. What? So it will be a virtual reality where you can even feel whatever is happening inside it. And you can even walk, talk. We, you can walk, talk, work. You can work out. You can even go to places. You can you can sleep there. You just need to connect to the metaverse and that how it works. So oh my goodness gracious! Science has been on uh, like a complete a different level now these days. They taken it like to a complete new new universe. Yes, that's what it seems. And and also, my son was telling me that basically that they can they can they're cloning people's voices now with this thing yeah. yes what is that about and even even uh there are ai's you know ai uh, artificial intelligence uh i've so heard of that i think it. i saw the movie there was a movie called the net and it had that sandra bullock in it and it was wonderful and yeah. they were talking about the yeah, something, AI. something uh, like that yeah. something it's like that, that okay. an ai uh, we have different AIs. The scientists have built currently. The, uh, I'm just talking about one which is already re uh, revealed. And we have this AI on which we can, uh, we just need to type a sentence and it can talk in anyone's voice. Suppose we need, we need, uh, if we need, uh, uh, just name any, any popular celebrity uh, of your time. Okay, Benny Goodman. Yeah, and if you want to hear his voice, you just need to type his name, okay, and then it will give you a box where you enter the sentence, and you will hear a sentence in his voice. So it's that easy. Also, even uh, if like from the older time, suppose like Da Vinci or any any popular artist, okay, there is an AI who can build, who can create an art, just like uh, any artist in the world. What? Any famous artist. Whose, whose art is there, yep. So even the art is dying, even I, I, I heard uh, this uh, debate with the artists and they are even protesting about it. They are on protest, they were on protest uh, in Japan where it, it, it was invented, this uh, artificial intelligence for, the, for creating art was, uh, was invented in uh, Japan. Oh my goodness! So yep. you're and saying artists from Japan? They were on protest oh. that uh, like you are completely killing, killing. Uh, you're completely taking over our jobs. We won't be able to eat anything, earn anything, and what, how how will we'll be able to earn then? Oh no! That is why it was a big issue in Japan. I see. That does sound like a big issue. My son tells me that uh, pretty soon that uh, robots are just going to be doing all of our jobs. And he said, and that's when the Antichrist comes back. Because that universal basic income, he told me that that was a precursor to revelations. Isn't that wild? Yep. Yeah, miss. Even even uh, scientists are uh, scientists are now even uh, trying to create dinosaurs. You might have uh, seen that movie, or you might know about this movie Godzilla or uh, this 
Jurassic Park. Oh, yes. I love that movie. It's got that guy, and he does those. He talks really slowly, but he's really, really handsome. What is his name? He yeah. always had a leather jacket on. I can't ever remember that guy. So basically, name. Uh, they are trying to uh, create dinosaurs now, just like that movie. So it is uh, coming to reality now. Oh my goodness! Is that they're how? Okay, now that's that's a bit bizarre. They're going to create. Oh, hey, wait a second. What is? What is this? We already we already know that. What is that? You already know this, and we are connected to the Amazon Secure Server, like I told you, so you don't have to worry about anything. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Can you see here, Amazon Secure Server on the screen? Yes, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So currently we are uh, surfing everything securely, and nothing can happen here. Oh, that's wonderful. So, Miss, uh, let's go through with the steps and... Uh, for now, I just talked to. Hello. The backend department. Yep, I'm here. Oh. I just talked to. I have a word with the backend department, and it just told me that you can simply go from a digital payment uh, method. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll try to create an invoice from there, and it will be sent to you, and it will be sent as an encrypted. Uh, invoice okay so what we'll do as soon as we go through with the part as soon as we hit it and it won't deduct any amount from your bank account but what it'll do it will be creating a code here oh it's going to create we a cannot code access, we cannot do it from oh, your I see. Uh, amazon account okay yep. this is basically a tricky step to uh like to confuse uh, the people who are trying to access uh, your Amazon account or who is trying to uh, hack the computer. Dang it. See, I heard about this stuff. I knew there was something weird going on because last night I had, I was on my computer and all of a sudden my mouse started moving around uh, all by itself. And I, it was, I said, this is a bit like the Ouija board. Have you ever played a Ouija board? <laughs> yeah, man, so where you call the spirits, right? Yes, yeah. yes, you call the spirits. I, I used to be very scared of it and when, I was, uh, when I was a child. And it was, people always used to tell me, oh, that's not real, that's your friend who moved it because you both put your hands on it. And I said, nope, me and Linda absolutely did not move. I know for a fact she wouldn't lie to me. And so... I think basically what we did was we conjured the spirit mm -hmm. of Ronald Reagan. Can you believe it? <laughs> no, Miss. I'm, I'm too scared of these stuff. <laughs> yes. Like, and, during my childhood, I used to be so, too much scared of uh, being alone, even even when I was uh, around. Uh, until I was, I was eight or ten, I was even scared of going to bathroom alone at night yes yeah and in in me too as well however whenever ronald reagan came up whenever he popped up and started moving around the the, the ouija board mm -hmm. all he said all literally all he said he, he put parentheses fart noise that's all he put and I said, what the heck kind of message is that from our from the ex-president? Just a fart noise? And we felt like we were being pranked or something by the ghost of Ronald Reagan. And I will never forget that. It was unbelievable. So, Miss, what we'll do now, we, we'll be uh, verifying everything manually okay so you need to enter these details i'm just typing on the screen oh okay let's see here Ta -ta -ta. okay hold on hold Name. on don't touch anything i'm just typing it just oh. uh, just uh don't touch it, it here i'm just typing it right now okay you no problem at all Oh, 
So what's going on later? Do you have plans? You, are you going going out and maybe going to the movie? Maybe you're going down and enjoying yourself a nice cup of coffee or something. A, 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 no, they Mr. call uh, it a not, nightcap not, uh, uh, back where I come from. They say, let's have a nightcap, and they go and they drink coffee. I said, that's not a nightcap. How is that a nightcap? You, you're, Garfie, you're drinking a stimulant, uh, have... basically. It's basically like no, no. liquid cocaine is, is basically what coffee is. And I say, how do you go to sleep after you have a coffee for a nightcap? Unbelievable. No, Miss, currently I don't have any plan because uh, even I'm working on myself also. I have a few uh, other things to do. So on the weekends... Uh, I try one weekend. I try to uh, do my own stuff, like I, I I make music also. So oh. I try to make music here. Well, I am also a musician. What type of music do you make? Yeah, I, I play guitar and uh, I play piano. Oh, that is so wonderful! I used to play piano too. Um, what is your? Who is your favorite guitar player? Miss, uh, I don't follow much uh, from here, but uh, if you might know these bands, uh, do you know uh, Metallica? Yes, I do. Guns and, and Roses. Those those bands are some of the greatest rock bands of all time. So my son says, but I'm honestly I'm partial to uh, mm -hmm. to Benny Goodman and Dizzy Gillespie. I say, those are bands. Okay. He says, Mom, that is not a rock band. You should know better than that. Those are jazzers. And I say, well, back in my day, those those were pretty rebellious types of acts. But anyway, Metallica and Guns N' Roses, who else do you like? It sounds like you might get along with my son pretty well. Yeah. So, uh, no, I mean, uh, like, uh, even some new bands from nowadays, they are uh, Green Day, we have uh, Lincoln Park, and we have One uh, One Republic. So, the are these are the bands from nowadays. Oh, that's wonderful! My so, my grandson he makes uh, this uh, electronic music, and I say I don't know about that. I think people do drugs and listen to that music. Yeah, and they do miss and listen to that music. I've I've heard people. I've seen people like that. So I went to this club uh, with my friends there, and that is why I don't go to club. And I don't know what what happened. They put something on my drink, and it, I was I was totally high there. They put something in your drink? Oh no! Yeah, just to just no. They they did it intentionally just to make me uh, enjoy whatever uh, music and whatever they were doing there. I see. Wow, that is that is just really messed up. Uh, you know, m my son used to play music festivals, and uh, he was he told me this story one time. He was sitting around, you know, late night, and this raver guy comes up out of, uh, just comes up out of the crowd and starts bragging about how he put this ecstasy stuff and he basically had a whole like a crystal of this e ecstasy and he was mm -hmm. bragging about giving girls uh, head massages with this ecstasy crystal and i don't even know what the heck that is that sounds outlandish to me but his agent at the time who he's kind of fallen out with but um his agent just absolutely snapped, and he said, "You think that's okay? You think it's okay to? You can't do that." He said, "Get the H word out of here!" And he kicked this guy out. And I said, "Good for him, because that is a really messed up deal. You cannot just give someone a drug without them knowing. That is really messed up." What did they? What did they give you? How did, How did you feel? What did, what happened after you did that? Uh, miss, I was I was just uh, seeing visuals. I think it was something uh, a chemical drug, I guess. Oh no! 
Yes, it is a very scary deal. I know that that Bill Cosby guy was doing stuff like that. I'm glad you didn't fall victim to something like that. That Bill Cosby guy, he just got out of jail. And I said, what? I think like a hundred people came forward or something and said he had done something awful to them. And now he's just being let out of jail. And I said, something isn't right here. Something is not right around here. Something is fishy around here, I said. Anywho. So, miss, um, just, help, uh, just help me out with the information here. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Um, okay. Oh, you, you just want my address or something yeah miss. okay can you type in or do you want me to type it uh, yes please do type it uh let's let's see here you want my address first okay are you ready yep i'm ready now just help me out with the bank do you, do you have any email registered on your email uh, on your or on your uh, credit card or debit card well, I let's just use my current email. I've had I've had some in the past, but uh, you you know you have those old AOL accounts, and people start making fun of you. No, no, my sir. Even even uh, I have like even my parents have an AOL account, so it's it's a all right. Do you have a, a AOL email? Yes. Well, no. Well, I did, but I don't use it anymore. I don't even know if I remember it. But my current email is your country. Uh, it's United States of America. Perfect. From Amazon, it won't be possible. It is on hold right now. Oh, okay. Is it the Bank of America, right? Yes, I've got Bank of America. Okay, do you remember the user ID and password for this? Uh, yes, yes, I should. I should remember that. Uh, just give me one moment. You know, my my son uh, was recommending that I try uh, ketamine therapy. Have you ever tried that before? No, miss. And apparently, ketamine is like some type of tranquilizer, according to him, like a horse tranquilizer. But the the hippies they will they will take ketamine and they'll they'll go into a, a something called a K hole, and uh, it sounds really scary to me. But apparently, it's now being used as a, a form a form of therapy uh, for people who have depression. I said, son, I'm not even depressed. I've I love my life. I, I'm not a and he said, mom, believe me, you're depressed. And I said, I don't think, listen, I, I, I know myself. I know I'm not depressed. And I said, you are projecting, is what I told him. And then, and then he, okay. left, he, he just left the house after that. And I said, well, that wasn't very nice. Anyway, what's the next step? I'm sorry, I got distracted. Uh, you I have to log tend in to do that quite often. I I have a one-track mind, or maybe I've got a multiple-track mind. I don't know. It seems like I go from being hyper-focused, track. See, I typed in the word track because I was saying the word track. Isn't that weird? <laughs> you got it. And now, is that is that like, is that dyslexia? Is that what they call dyslexia? No, no, miss. It's it's very common. You don't have to worry about anything. Even I do. If I'm talking to you, if if I, I'm speaking some certain words, even I type it by mistake. It's just, it's just uh, it's human mind. That's how it works. Oh, okay. That's just normal standard stuff there, I guess. I used to be a dancer back in the day, by the way. Oh, nice, miss. Yes. You might be. Uh, you you must have a flexible body then. Well, that's what my, 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 well, my husband, okay, hold on, miss. God now rest I'll his soul, he passed over. away yesterday, my husband mm -hmm. passed away, and, uh, but he said I was very flexible, he would always comment on that as well, but he, he did pass away yesterday. 
Okay, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was a, you know, I I would say, well, he was getting old, and but it it was actually quite sudden. He was actually a marathon runner, um, up until 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 he passed away, and so it wasn't due to health. It was due mm-hmm. to being struck immediately by an airplane. Have you heard of that? No, miss. Yes. Apparently, he's got a friend uh, that works on the airfield, and they were giving him a tour of, of the airport, and he was walking around with the air traffic control folks. And this plane came in, and mm-hmm. they said, they said, Harry, get out of the way. Get out of the way. The plane is landing. And he looked over, and he said, he said, what did you say? He, he's pretty, he's passed away, but he was 100% deaf. They should have taken that into consideration before bringing him out on the airfield. But what happened is one of the, this plane flew in and one of the wheels came out and struck him right on the head and he passed away on impact. Okay. And I said, well, at least he died doing the thing that he loves. And then his friend said, what did he do that he was that he loved? He was just out there, and the the wheel came off and just hit him in the head. He wasn't doing what he loved, and I said, "You know what? You got a point there." It says that they placed those Amazon charges on hold. Let's see yeah, that is the problem is that is oh, what I was telling you. Here it is. <clears throat> we didn't want look them- here. Okay, whole or pending? It says pending. I don't know. What does this mean? An H. This is what they were saying. It says hold on it. Dag nabbit. Wait. Hold on, hold on. So we needed to... Oh, wait. It. There's more charges. What the heck? Or... Have... Did you try to charge four of those gift code things to my... What happened here? Miss, nothing was charged, okay? $42? You can check here. Four different no, it times? Wasn't me. It was me. Oh, no! You I, can check, Miss. Oh, Available balance no. is the I only same. have $692,816.19 left after that. Deck Miss, it Nabbit. wasn't me. We didn't... Miss, we didn't go for any eleven dollar or forty two dollars uh, transaction. Okay, like I told you, our the like the code we were trying to access it didn't went through. Went through. It didn't even went through at all. Well, it says, oh, that's right, and that's that would reflect what my text message says as well. It says it was put on hold, but those other two yes. beneath it say P for pending. So that doesn't seem right. Dag nabbit. It's okay. Dang it. It's okay. You don't have to worry about anything. I'm here. I'm helping you out with that, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll be uh, on hold. And can you call your son and ask him if he if if he might have received uh, any details about the gift cards that you just placed order from Amazon? Okay, just call him right now. I guess I'll just keep you on the phone here, and and you can talk to yeah. him. And just ask him good. to uh, send it. Hold on, yeah, one ask second. Ask him to send it on your email. Here, okay? let's, let's just it, loop it, him it, into the call, and, and and you can talk to him. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that sounds great, Miss. Okay, let me see if I can do the conference call thing. Hey, mom, how's it going? Well, pretty good. I'm I'm on the phone here with Amazon support. Okay. Uh sure. What's what's going on? Uh sir, can you can you please explain? I'm I'm sorry. I really don't know what's going on. Okay, miss. Uh yeah. Let me let me try to explain. So sir, basically what happened, uh there was some unauthorized login from uh some different locations. And that is why uh, Nell received some notifications about uh, some detections which were 
suspicious. Okay, so she gave us a call and we were able to detect it. And now we are trying to secure the Amazon account and you might have uh, the access to the email on which the Amazon account was made, right? Um, you know what? I, I, I gave her that thing like a while back, to be honest. Um, I don't mm -hmm. exactly, yeah, I don't know. Um, sh what should I be looking for here? Okay, there might be an e uh, email from Amazon support uh, regarding the orders. Okay, le uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Looking on my on my Android phone real quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see some emails. Uh, I mean, I mean, what, a, what about them? It's just a confirmation email here, basically. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you forward those, those emails on, uh, Nell's Gmail account? The one which is, uh, Harry ha Harris nailed at gmail.com. Yeah. But, uh, but I guess, I guess my question would be just why kind of, you know what I mean? Like what's, What's the purpose? Yes, sir. I we guess. were trying to. Uh, yeah, we were trying to secure the Amazon he account. He said that there just... was some charges, and that they needed to go through because they bought a gift card on the Amazon. And oh, it will be reversed it, because uh, before me, gift card. someone else was here. That's uh, odd. Before me, someone else. What's the uh, What's the gift card yes, for? That is what I'm trying to explain to you, sir. Before he me, said it was the, going uh, to cancel I'm, out some tra uh, transaction or something. So uh, yes, sir. Wait, so it's going to cancel? It's going to cancel out a transaction by making another transaction? That's huh. no, 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 sir. Yep, that's I what he said, we said earlier. To, I'm not sure, but I didn't say we try to make a transaction. The one I was trying, it didn't went through. Okay, we need to. Uh, what happened? Amazon account is blocked. Well, I mean, I don't. I, I have no security. idea what happened. You know, I, I'm I'm a, I'm as I'm as clueless as as anybody is what's going on. This is pretty. This is a very unusual phone call. Well, it's sure. been a very unusual just, couple of days around here, Daniel. Uh, I even was Nilda to, was able uh, to see on Norton the screen on, on was her. on my computer, and they had me go get some gift cards as well. It was twenty five hundred yes, dollars worth of gift cards at the, from the, the CVS. Oh, that sounds yes, sir. That is what I'm trying to explain to you. That sounds um, like that's I'm from Amazon support. Normal, I guess. That sounds I'm from fine. A Amazon support. That is what I'm trying to tell you, sir. I'm from Amazon support, and these gift card were ordered before me, before I was on the call. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So that is why we are trying to. Uh, Reverse this if we could do this. Uh, if it cost you charges, we'll try to reverse it back, okay? So just help me out if you could simply uh, forward the emails uh, to Nell's email, the gmail.com. Forward the Nell's emails? Yep. But, okay, well, ho hold on. Let me look at this thing. And also... Also, Daniel, I've, I've been meaning to, to tell you that uh, I, I, I really don't think that I have clinical depression and I really don't want to do that ketamine therapy. I just don't want to do it. Hold on, Mom. Just give me a second. I heard that you could go into a K-hole if you did that. I don't, I don't know what that is, Mom. It's it, Honestly, hold on. Just, just one second. So, so you want me to 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 forward you these emails? It said that there's a notice at the bottom that this is a that there's a one time passcode, and I shouldn't share this with anybody. Is that is this okay? Can, no, like, it's, should you I don't do have that? to forward me. Yes, sir. It you have to forward to Nell so that I can request the yes, back because, enforcement because, like I told because you, because Amazon support is be... able to see my computer and they're on the uh, they're on my Gmail is having a look but i guess we didn't get the emails it wasn't that we us needed. who ordered these uh oh okay so they're, like, they're actually on your computer the right now okay so 
Actually, sir, you would see the one-time password if I sent it to to my mom here, or? Yes, that's what. Yeah, we are just trying to reverse what, uh, it, sir. Because that's what he like said. I told because you, it's uh, he's look. He's got the email me, opened up was. right now, and so that's what's that's what's happening. Oh, yes, and actually, what before. is this uh, new invoice here? What is invoice twelve has been canceled? What is what is that? Nothing, miss. That was uh, that was for. Uh, oh no! Because it was not. Was that yeah. one fraudulent too? No, miss. Man, it, there's a lot of fraudulent stuff like going I on. Told you. It's weird. Weird day. I'm actually. I'm. That I'm, is what I'm. I actually to have to her. go here just just because uh, my buddies are about to go out on the pontoon boat. It is super cold here, so no one else is out on on the lake. So we're going to go out there. We're going to put on our parkas. And we're just going to bundle mm -hmm. up and be on Lake LBGA today. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm down here in Austin with uh, with some buddies. So anyway, uh, Mom, I got to go. I got to go on the pontoon boat with my boys. And uh, I'll talk to you later. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Have a wonderful time. See ya. Do you want me to reverse the uh, charges which were made? Oh, I think he just... I think you just hung up. Yes, okay. Anyway, th thank you so much for speaking to him. He's a he's a he's a very nice boy. But they go out on those pontoon boats and that's really scary. Those things are very fast. Okay, miss, let's try it with Faster uh, some than my pontoon boat method. at least. I've got one as well. Uh on my end yeah. as well. Are you there, miss? So Anywho's, Miss, I'll try to get the gift card now with uh, a different website, okay? One which is in a paid partnership with Amazon. Will that work? Listen, I can, can I just go down? And, can we do the gift card thing because that seemed to help with the Norton people? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go ahead with that one then. Okay. It's I've got a CVS. It's about. 15 minutes away. Okay. Now give me a quick moment. What? Hold on. Let me put you on mute. Oh. need to start the car. Just when this thing is really loud. Hold on. I'm sp sparing you the agony because my, my, I have my hearing aid and it, when this car turns on, it is the loudest uh -huh. thing. My son Apparently, he's uh, he's big on on uh, large engines and small cars, so he's put a big engine in my car. I said I don't even want that crap, but he did anyway. He's a car junkie. Are you into cars? Yeah, miss. I'm into cars, and even I love off roading as well. I have a, I have a truck here. Oh, that's wonderful. What do you do in your truck? Basically, uh, like after. Once in a month or once in a two month, I go with my friends and my brothers here out for an uh, off-road drive. Oh, is that where you go into the water and all that? Yeah, miss. The muddy terrains, the, the rocky patches, the rocky roads, muddy roads. I see. So you're out there, you're driving through the mud and through the water. That sounds like a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, adventure, miss. I, I like doing adventure. And you do that out in California, huh? Not exactly in California. When I go back to uh, India or when I go to Canada, there are more uh, off-road tracks there. California oh. is like a big city, so there, there, are, there are a few less uh, off-road tracks here. Okay, I see. And so, are you able to go completely underwater? Yeah, miss. Not completely underwater, but yeah, uh, like till the like whole of the engine goes inside the water. So we have snorkels. There are a few things which we modify wow. on our cars so that it can breathe. Uh, like, even if uh, the car is half inside the water, it can breathe and it can uh, take air inside the engine. So we have this uh, snorkel in front of the car, which is, uh, which allow it, uh, it to uh, like burn the gas. 
That is incredible. Well, I, I hope you took some good pictures and videos of, of you doing that. Yeah, man. So, uh, I'm, I'm active on social media, so I could have uh, asked you to uh, add me on social media also. But like I told you, you're on a two-way recorded call, so it won't be possible from my end. Oh, ask you for that. I see. Well, is is a uh, is there any hints you can give me? Maybe you could just maybe the 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 powers that be who are listening won't notice, and then I'll be able to. You said your 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 boss is recording all of these phone calls. Yeah, miss. This is basically for uh, the security of uh, the customers, as well as uh, to make to keep the records. I see. Okay. I see. So, maybe you could... Okay, so maybe, you know, because my son tells me that the, the Google is able to use artificial intelligence, that AI thing mm -hmm. you were talking about, in order to sift out information. So maybe if you just get spelt out your your MySpace or whatever you said, spelled out the user, mm -hmm. I, I'd be able to find it. I'd love to see your pictures. Uh, okay, so what I'll do, I'll try to give you a call from my different number, and I'll try to uh, get back to you. Will that work? That would be wonderful. Thank you, because you've been so helpful and so nice and pleasant. You know, I, I've i been so told that I have a bit of an anger problem because of, you know, mm -hmm. I basically I just don't take any mess. If someone is giving me guff, I just tell them like it is, and sometimes... You know, people don't like that. So I, they say, oh, you've got an anger problem. I say, no, you've got a behavior problem, I think. That's what I think. And I usually yeah. don't like to admit any wrongdoing that I might have committed on my end. <sighs> Let's see here. Okay, miss, so how far is the store from you? Well, I'm coming up on it right now. It's 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 a quick little drive through, through town. Um... But this time around, I'm really trying to obey all traffic laws. Because last time I got in the car, I went on an absolute joyride. I was speeding through the city. I almost hit somebody. I, I, I was rear-ended, and I smashed right into a, a, light, a, a light post. Um, mm -hmm. But it was only minor damage and, and, uh, on my car, and I've got insurance, and I basically... I lied to my insurance company and said that someone came to my car with a baseball bat and and beat it up. So I said that that's insurance, that's accidental, and they gave it to me. But really, I was just smashing into things all willy nilly. Uh, hold on, let's see here. Okay, and just a couple more minutes, and I'll be right there in the parking lot. Okay, and which store uh, are you going to? I'm going to go to the CVS. CVS, okay. It's definitely hard to go the speed limit. It, they make it so slow in the cities, and, you know, I, uh... Oh, <laughs> god dang it. Someone just, this guy just cut me off. See, if if I was in a worse yeah, mood, I might I might tail uh, tail that guy and f follow him to his house and see what happens at that point. <laughs> no, but just be careful while driving. Uh, oh, don't get yourself into <sighs> trouble. Sorry, I am getting a little worked up now, and someone almost just ran into me because I'm speeding through the intersection. It's a red light, but who cares? Okay. And let's see. Pulling into the parking lot now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I'm heading out, heading into the store. And hold on. Let me see. What, what is this outside? Oh, that's cool. I'm seeing a flyer for a, a punk band. 
a, a punk rock band out here. And I think oh, my nice. I think my grandson goes to these shows. And I said, I thought punk was a thing from the 1980s. And he said, you wouldn't but believe. Still there are still there are punk bands who are popular these days. Few few punk bands. So it could be any a local punk band here at your place. I nearby see. You. Well, um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's a local thing or if it's, um, it's that band. Have you ever heard of that band? No FX. Have you heard of that before? No, miss. Well, uh, my grandson likes them because they're silly. And I said, well, why don't you go to a, a stand up comedy show if you, if that's what you want to hear. And uh, mm -hmm. he says, well, it's kind of like a stand-up comedy show. They do think little bits in between. The, the, but I, I will tell you this, this much. They got in a bit of trouble uh, because they made some remarks in Las Vegas after that awful shooting that happened. And they, they said something that was not very nice when they were in Las Vegas. And because of that, my, my grandson told me all of their shows were canceled and okay. uh yeah isn't that what i mean just you say one little thing and it just everyone just cancels your show i said well what did they say you know i i said i said mm -hmm. what did, what did they say and uh he he said mom i'm not even gonna tell you or grandma i'm not even gonna tell you I'm not even gonna tell you what they said and i said well that must have been awful that must have been real bad. Yeah. Many who. So, uh, are you into the stores uh, store right now? Yes. Yes, I'm in the store. And you said I needed to get how many of these cards here? Yeah. Uh, can you ask them what is the biggest card that you can get? Well, I should be able to see it. Uh, let's see. It looks like these the the five hundred dollar ones. Is there any one uh, any card which can be bigger than this? Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Nope, they, they just go up to the five hundred. Okay, so do one thing. Just get uh, six cards for five hundred. Okay. And yep. and you think that should should cover it? Yeah, miss. Comes up to a. Have you got that? Comes up every, to a every card? bit of a whopper of amount of money here. Jeez, I didn't even add that up in my head before I picked them up. That will be reversed on your uh, on your account, miss. Once we have uh, the card redeemed. Oh, they're gonna reverse it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Even I was going to tell you if you could get ten cards because what happens sometimes? What happens? A few of the card yet uh, couldn't go through it so it's all right it, it won't cost you like i told you it will be again coming back to your account so what are you what are you going to be up to the rest of your day yes i'll be uh here and on the floor for next four to five hours and then later on i'll be going back i'll be having my dinner taken I'll be going for a walk, a walk out, and then go to the gym. I'll work out and have my dinner. Watch TV. I'll watch Netflix and then go back to sleep. That's it. Well, and that's actually was going to be my next question. What, what are, what is on Netflix these days? I feel like it's a, it's a bit of a. You know, people don't seem to use it as much as they used to. No, it's, uh, Net Netflix is quite quite good. Uh, OTD, uh, like it, it works just like you know, you know about Netflix, right? Yes, but I I have the HBO uh, these days because I I couldn't find anything on the Netflix that was seemed to be worth a darn. Yeah, basically, uh, I, I like fictional stories. So, like, I like fictional series, fictional 
stories. So that is why I watch Netflix. On Netflix, there are many, many good uh, fictional stories. That's yes. That's so if you watch what HBO, I heard. Uh, my fav- favorite uh, series from HBO is uh, the Game of Thrones. Oh, I love the Game of Thrones. It's my it's my favorite among among everything. Are and now among all. are are you watching the um? Are you watching the the House of the Dragon? Yeah, miss. How are it's, you it's liking a that? Story. I liked uh, like Game of Thrones was better, but the thing is, uh, if I compare both of them, in that case, uh, the House of Dragon is could could have been made better. Oh, I see. Well, what was wrong with it? Heading back out, back out to the car right now. Okay. Because of uh, uh, like when Game of Thrones was made, when it was started, uh, the, when they started making Game of Thrones, at that time they didn't had this much advanced technology for editing, but now they have more better uh, softwares to edit the, those things, those uh, visuals, those uh, like those fictional characters so they could have done better if I they compare see. game of throne with, with that game of throne is older but still it has one of the best visuals you could have ever seen you know the what? dragons and everything looks so real i honestly the first time i saw the dragons on the on game of thrones i thought to myself that does not look real to me it really, I mean, honestly, it it really didn't look real. Just, but it's, that's just a personal preference. You know, it's just yeah. Yeah, one of those from, things. If you compare, uh, at that time, there were not too many things you could do to make it look real. But nowadays, we have more advanced softwares which make it look real. And, you know, but, okay, and how about this? You did you like the ending mm-hmm. to Game of Thrones? Did you like that? No, miss. It could have been better because uh, if you might have uh, heard about this novel, on which this uh, story is based on, that it is quite different, more more interesting in the novel. Yes, and and that's right. And I I have to say I did not like the whole thing. I just. You know, I while I agreed with Jon Snow killing Daenerys, that was a that needed to happen. She needed to go. But and and yeah. you know, everyone says, Oh, the ending was so bad because they killed Daenerys. Oh, boo hoo. Daenerys was a villain no, was, in the show. She was the yeah. antagonist of this of the entire show. Exactly. She was the evil queen. She was the one. Uh, she was the mad queen. If, if, like I told you, like I was talking about the novel, in the novel it is mentioned that she became the mad queen, and she had she got arrogant of. Uh, she has she had arrogance of these dragons, also uh, arrogance of being the dragon mother, mother of the dragons. So that is why she became so mad. It it went into her head that she, no one can. Uh, hurt her or no one can touch her so that is why she was the evil queen she was the evil queen but here's what i thought should have happened okay i Mm -hmm. thought and this is a i have not heard this opinion come out much but you know what Mm -hmm. it's probably all over that uh uh radit or whatever that what is it thing radit radot or uh dang yeah. it what what is this site where you go and you you put they, they have their their subreddits also right subreddit yeah got it got it um, i'm i'm getting what you're trying to say oh reddit reddit um reddit, reddit. Yeah. okay uh, yes i so anyway i was saying they, they i think there are probably a lot of opinions on that reddit site my son is on there but he mm-hmm. tells me that uh you know there's they, they've thought of every possible ending 
that it could have ever been in and so I'm sure this has been thought up before, but here's what I thought. I thought Daenerys mm -hmm. should kill Jon Snow and uh -huh. I and I thought that Daenerys should meet up with Cersei and of course that would make Cersei not pass away, but Jamie goes. Jamie's got to die. Uh, yep. Jamie's a piece of s word. People, people always want to say, "Oh, poor Jamie." Oh, like oh, since when? That guy was a, that guy. That guy threw Bran and paralyzed him. He's a piece of s word. So anyway, uh, Daenerys meets up with Cersei. And they get mm -hmm. married to one another because it's a very uh, pro it's a progressive type of show, and they yeah. they hook up, they get married, and they become queen and queen of the undead, and they're they're, they're the queen and yeah. queen of the north together, and they kill everyone, yeah. like they kill. There's not even a single person left, and so then. Westeros is now conquered by the undead. What's what's the next step? Essos. We're going over to Essos for a whole new series where Cersei and Daenerys wreck shop on all of Essos, and they even be, go back to that Valyria. Happen, in that case, yeah. In in that case, like both uh, both were the most powerful woman uh, in the entire series. Yes, Daenerys and. Uh, Cersei. That's correct. This, this couple would have made some some different impact. So what if they went over to to Essos and started wrecking shop on the Dothraki and all that? But then they but then but the final destination is Old Valyria. Yeah. Okay, so they go back to Valyria where the doom set in and killed off all the Targaryens initially. That's why the Targaryens ever came to Westeros. So, uh -huh. what if they go back to old Valyria, and they retake Valyria, and they re-establish Valyria with the undead, and it becomes an ice kingdom, and there are so many dragons, and from there, you have a whole entire new series where the villains are in control, and there has to be someone from within that comes up and, and rises up, and overthrows and becomes the hero yes yeah. that now that is a series right there i'll tell you they really screwed up game of thrones they could have made it so much better and made it so much longer but listen you it do you mm -hmm. hey i just want to say i've pitched this to george rr mm -hmm. martin i i went I, I wrote a letter to george rr R. martin and i said listen this would be a really good idea you, you don't have to end this right now we can keep this going just even in the books, it doesn't have to, because you know he hasn't finished the last Game of Thrones book yet. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah I, I know. So, I mean, think about that. I mean, think about what could happen. I, I mean, give me a break. What I just said is a wonderful idea. People would have been so excited if any of this happened, but no. Little old me, Neld Harris, could have gotten a writing job, I'm sure, based on this brilliance I just came up it's with. I like writing, if you, if you want to do this, you can you can still do it, miss. Well, thank you so you much. You can try it out and try it out. Okay, so I just got... And I, I, I'm glad, to the and I'm glad that uh, you got connected to me on this call. I, I love talking to you. I, I really like uh, talking to you. Well, likewise. Thank so, you so much, man. Okay, I'm coming back in my house now. Looks like this computer is back on. Did you need to get on there again real quick? Here it is. No, uh, man. The uh, code is... Uh, oh, do you still need my code? It's 426... No, hold on, hold on. Just Two, give me a moment. five, Let me, uh... eight. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, five, seven, four. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, dang! You know, I've got something on my bank here. What does it say? What does it say? 
here just did, did you did you need to connect up to me is to do this let's see here you might want to take a look here this is pretty weird okay give me a quick moment give me a quick moment let me connect it to you just check do you receive anything there on your any desk uh okay and so let's get to the breath. gift cards yeah. Let's get to the gift cards now. Okay, and, here we uh, go. Hold on, hold on, Miss. You don't have to redeem it from here. Hold on, just, just hold one on, hold on. second. Hold on. Miss, just listen to me. You don't have to redeem it from here or it, or else I won't be able to the, reverse it. I am having just the biggest... I'm, I'm having this arthritic pain right now. Miss, don't I will redeem tell it. you what, Just listen to me. it is enough to drive someone absolutely Miss, insane. Uh, hold on. Miss, to me. I'm sorry, I can't quite hear you. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, okay, Miss, you don't so have to read that's the first one. until I ask you to. Miss, just listen to me. Hold on. Let's get this. Uh, are you there? Uh, let's see here. Hello. Are you there? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Hold on. Don't redeem it. Don't redeem it. What? Or else it will directly go back to your. Don't redeem it until I ask you to. Or it will yes. directly go uh -huh. back to your. That's now. correct. I'm, I'm going okay. to redeem them. That's correct. No, no. You don't have Hold to redeem it. Hold on. One second. A, B, L, zero. Miss, X, I will tell you that, but hold on, hold on. G, Just give me a moment. C, what? M, D. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, miss. You don't have to redeem the card until I ask you to. Just hold on. Yes, that's correct. I've just redeemed. Oh, there it goes. Uh, that's the second one. Oh, so I have... Damn it. Uh, da, da, da. Four more to go, correct? I think you told me to get six. Is six, one, two, three, four. Yep, four more to go. Miss, close everything. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm wearing... Right now? Oh, that's very... I didn't that was an unexpected question i'm i'm wearing a blue dress that my husband gave me no 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 i i, T I said just close T everything J for now e what just close everything for now see yes okay i'll do that just in one se one moment You know what? This is making me thirsty for another cup of tea. I think I might have to go get myself some tea. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, miss. Okay. Ah, <sighs> any who's. What's going on in your neck of the woods? Miss, just try not to redeem the code, the next code. Don't try to redeem the card. Yes, okay. Just do the next one? No, don't, don't do it. Oh. Oh, that's right, because I needed to go get some, tip, some tea first. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go get some tea and I'll come back and I'll, and I'll redeem the rest of these, okay? Miss, can you help me out with the code? Hold that on, you see one second, I gotta grab some tea. Hold on. 